Hi everyone, David Acox here with Tech Talk America, and today we are talking about those little red, yellow, and green buttons that you'll find at the top left of the various applications on your Mac. This segment is actually part of my new to Mac class, which I designed for anyone out there who just wants to learn how to better use their Mac. If you'd like more info on that class, you can find links to it in the description of this video, or you can head over to our website at techtalkamerica.com. Let's listen in on that class already in progress. The next part we're going to talk about are these little dots that you see here at the top left of my screen, these little red, yellow, and green dots. Now, you're going to see those with pretty much every application, pretty much every window on the Mac, and I want to go over what they mean. So the red one is a little bit confusing because it used to be very consistent, and now it's not always the case. So the red dot is actually close. So you'll notice if I close this Safari window, Notice it still says Safari at the top left corner. Because Safari is still running, we have only closed the window, not quit the application. So I want to be clear, there is a difference between closing and quitting. So if I want to open another Safari window, I could basically go here to File, I can go to New Window, and it will open a new Safari window. So that red dot usually means close. There is an exception to the rule, which is page, I'm sorry, photos. There are a few other applications as well, but photos is the big one. If you hit the red dot in photos, it is actually quit. That's important for you all to know because if you're doing anything with like syncing photos from your camera, okay, you don't want to close because you're going to end up quitting in the case of photos. So just minimize, which is the next one. So this little amber yellow dot, that is minimize. So when we click on it, it's going to kind of genie down there into your dock so that if you want to bring it back, you just click down here. Notice it's now here at the bottom right next to the trash can. We're going to click on that, and it comes right back, just like that. The green dot here is to go into full screen mode, but it is also a second thing as well. So if I click on this, you'll see everything else kind of melts away. The only thing we have here is now Safari. I'd like to also tell you at this point how to get out of this if you need to, so that you're not you know, panicking. So the way to get out of full screen mode, there can be two different ways. I'm going to teach you both of them because they don't always work. One doesn't always work. So the easy way is to simply tap the escape key on your keyboard, which in this case will work. Okay, so you can see it kind of moves back down to the normal size. The other way that does work all the time is if you just simply put your cursor at the top, top of the screen, very, very top. You'll see the top menu bar comes down, and now we can click the green dot again and the same thing happens. So that's what those little dots do. Now you know how just a moment ago I told you that the green dot also does the second thing? I'd like to show you what that does now too. Now this is uh, only in the more recent operating systems for the Mac, but if, so right now I have open two different applications. I have Reminders and I have my Calendar, which are two apps that I would be very likely running at the same time and maybe need to move things from one to the other. So what I can do is to really maximize my usage of my screen. What I can do is I can press and hold on that green dot and now you'll see that it kind of lights up a side of the screen. If I drag to the right, it, drags up, it highlights the right. If I drag it to the left, it just highlights the left. So what it's basically telling me is I'm going to run this in half screen mode, okay? So I'm going to let go, and now it's clinging to the left-hand side of the screen. Now I can choose a different app to run on the right-hand side. So now I'm going to click here on Reminders. So right now they're running 50-50. Now if I want to adjust it so that maybe I have a little bit more space with the calendar and less with um, the Reminders app, what I can do is I can grab that black vertical bar and we're going to drag it to the right. Now this isn't going to work for every single app out there, but for most of them it will and you can kind of resize it however much you want. Um, to a certain extent, it's going to snap back and forth, but that's how you do that, which is a great feature that Apple in absolutely no way totally ripped off from Microsoft. Yeah, they stole that one. Now, if you like this class, I would strongly recommend that you head over to our website and check out our class called New to Mac. It is a very thorough class that I built for every one of you out there who just wants to have a little bit of a better understanding of how to navigate, how to sort through things, and I try to make it entertaining for you along the way. So if you want to check that out, you can either go to the link in the description of this video, uh, or you can just head over to our website yourself, which is techtalkamerica.com. This is David A. Cox. 
class dismissed.